hey, if you're doing anything more than basic edits in your video editing, then you're gonna wanna know what I've gotta teach you in this video. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. This is Creator Reality, and today I'm gonna make you a master in speed ramps in DaVinci Resolve. We've got freeze frame speeding up and slowing down, and I, I'm gonna start out with a bonus tip. I really am. So let's get into Resolve and show you what we're working with. Here's our timeline. We've got our three examples, but let's start with the bonus tip. Click DaVinci Resolve, choose Keyboard Customization, and over here in Search, click on it, type in Retime. You'll see some options here, and by default, DaVinci Resolve has Retime Controls Keyboard Bound to Control Plus R. As you can see here under Edit Timeline Retime Curve, I have Control Plus Shift Plus R. If it's something else, or if yours looks like this, you can click the X like I did, and then hold Control Shift, and press R, and there it is. Click Save, then click Close, and now we're ready to begin. See, I told you you were gonna get a bonus tip. Yeah, this is good stuff. What you do that for is it makes it a lot easier in the future. You can develop a little bit of muscle memory with the keyboard shortcuts and do this editing faster, because you know we wanna have more time to get more creative and trying to remember keyboard shortcuts or right-clicking and clicking on menus just takes too long. Anyway, let's get back at it. So the first thing we wanna do is a freeze frame. So we're gonna use Alt and our mouse wheel to zoom in. And we've got a clip here. If I press Control D, it'll tell me that it's 25 seconds long. Great. That's another keyboard shortcut, but we're gonna scroll ahead until we see a squiggly line sign in our frame. And it's right there. We wanna freeze frame on this. So what we're gonna do is leave our playhead here. And since I'm not using the audio, I'm going to click in blank space and then hold Alt and click on just the video. And then we're going to hold Alt again and drag up to make a duplicate. Now that we have our duplicate, press Control B to break everything here. And then we're gonna hold Shift and press right twice to move two seconds forward. And we're going to click on our original clip and drag it forward. We can click on this extraneous one here, backspace to get rid of it. And now this one is going to be our freeze frame. So what we do is we come back to the start of the clip. And if the playhead's not snapping to the uh, ends and starts of clips, check out this snapping icon here or press N. If I press N, you see it highlights again. But now it, it won't snap. And you really want it to snap. So I'll press N again. Boom, we're at the start of this clip. So now we're gonna right click on it and say change clip speed. And we get the change clip speed window. You can change the speed here, the frames per second, duration, etc. Ripple timeline's important. Reverse speed would allow you to reverse it. We'll show that in a minute. But the one we want is freeze frame. So we're gonna click change. And now it's entirely frozen for all this length. So we're gonna click here and we still have snapping on and control B. And then we'll click on this extraneous footage, backspace to get rid of it. And just for cleanness, we'll drag it down. So when we do a playback, we're riding along and then boom. And now you can add a highlight for this, but then you get smooth playback. Pretty cool, right? Now, if we wanna look at the rest of these controls, right click on a clip and we're gonna come up and change clip speed. Let's try reverse speed. You'll notice that everything gets minus here in the speed and frames per second, click change. And now, it's going to roll backwards until we get all the way back to our sign. So if we grab this and drag it to the end, you'll notice that we end on the freeze frame. Pretty easy, right? It's a good warm up. Now let's go take a look at slowing down some footage. There's some stuff in here and not all of it's in the free version, but I'm going to point that out as we go along. So here we are. We're looking at a camera mount on my motorcycle and we want to slow this down. So there's a number of ways to do it, but we can right click on it and come back to our change clip speed. And we're gonna change the speed here to 50%, which will have it. And then we're gonna click change. But you'll notice during playback, now we're only going through half of it. So we're gonna control Z to undo that. We're gonna right click on it, change clip speed. And this time we're gonna enter 50%. And then we're gonna click ripple timeline and you'll see it stretch out. There it is. Now we have our whole clip and it's twice as long because it's half as fast. And that's all well and good. Now, here's a kicker for that one. Up in your inspector, if you don't see it, click on the wrench or the word inspector. Scroll down to Retime and Scaling. If you have the free version of Resolve, you'll have all of these options here. We're gonna choose Optical Flow. And this is basically how Resolve is going to interpolate the missing frames because we're slowing down 30 frames per second to 15. And I get it. 
This is kind of a worst case example. I'm taking 30 frames per second, slowing it to 15. There will be missing frames. If you shot at 60 frames a second, you can go down to 30, you know, the same half speed, 50%, and you'll get very smooth playback because that's what, you know, you recorded the slow-mo for that, right? Same thing with 120, 240, et cetera. You can go slower and slower before Resolve has to start really interpolating frames. But in our case, we need to do it. So we choose optical flow and then motion estimation. The free version of Resolve will have the first five options here all the way down to enhance better. But since I have the paid version, I can choose speed warp. The kicker is this is 4K footage at a high bit rate. So Resolve is gonna play it back, but really choppy. I've already hit play and it's gonna just chug along. So I'll press the space bar to pause it and I'll right click and say render cache color output. And then you see the red bar, that's the color cache and Resolve will go through and actually render this out so we get smooth playback. Depending on the speed of your computer, this could take a few seconds or a few minutes. But once that bar is fully blue, we can play back with impunity. And it plays back nice and smooth. And Resolve has done its very best to interpolate all the frames that we wanted to show there. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? Now that's slowing down footage, but what about the sped up footage? We've got some really creative ways to do that. So first, boop the like button. Let me know you're getting something from this video and then let's get back into Resolve. Here we are, we've got our clip and I'm going to get this icon to show up here when I hover it over the divider line between our playback window and our timeline and drag up because we're gonna need the room. Grab it here between the audio and video, drag it down and we're gonna select our clip Press Control R, this brings up our retime controls. And we're gonna use our shortcut to move over three seconds. That's Shift plus right. And we're gonna click here for Add Speed Point. The little arrow brings up this menu. You've got Add Speed Point, Change Speed, Reset, Freeze Frame, Reverse Segment, etc. Well, we're gonna add a speed point. We're gonna do the same thing at the end. Three seconds in, we're gonna add a speed point. Then we're gonna scrub through the footage really quick and we're gonna realize that we wanna speed all this up. But at some point I come up here and I wanna highlight something. So my hand comes into frame right about there, I think. Yep, there it is. So we're gonna go back to the start of that. We're gonna click on it, add speed point, go to where I bring my hand back down and we're gonna add another speed point. Then we're gonna come along all the way through here. This is great. Well, this little house, I wanna slow down. So I'm gonna add a speed point there and we're gonna go right past the squiggly line sign and add another speed point. And that's enough for this example. Control Shift R to open up our retime curve. And we've got two graphs here. If I zoom in just a little bit, you can see there's two graphs. We don't want the second one, so we're gonna click on the arrow and unselect retime frame. Now when I click on retime speed, we've got our keyframes, but it's all flat. That's because we haven't set the speeds. The first one here, let's set that to 400%. And then the second one is good at 100. This one's a long one. We're gonna select this and change the speed to 800%. Here is our little house. We can ignore that for now. This one, I wanna speed up to a custom amount. So I'm gonna change speed and set it to 200. I use this to remind myself that, hey, I wanted to do something different here that wasn't one of the presets. I don't normally just double the speed. And since it's the only section of this video clip that is double the speed, then it's just a memory reminder that, hey, I want to do something extra here. So now that we have all these set, I'm going to Alt mouse wheel to zoom in, and I want to change this one to 50%. And you'll see it gets yellow instead of blue. One of the cool things you can do here is you can grab the top icon here and it'll speed up or slow down this section, Control Z to undo, or if you grab the one line, it's, it actually changes the segment cutoff, Control Z to undo that. Now we have everything set up the way we want. So when I Alt mouse wheel to zoom out, you can see that uh, something's cut off here and there's no speed ramps. So we're gonna do that. Well, right here, you see a 300. And if I zoom in a little bit more, sometimes the UI gets wonky, but when you have your left right arrow, you know you're good to drag on the speed and you can change how much is displayed which allows for granular changes in speed, right? But we wanna set this all the way to 1500 because that's how fast I wanna make that one clip. There it is. And we're gonna hover over. You see the up and down arrows. We're just gonna drag it all the way up and there it goes. We still don't have any speed ramps though. So what we need to do is zoom back in a little bit and we're gonna click on 
one of our things. Oh, I accidentally moved it when I selected the keyframe. Control Z to undo, but it keeps the selection. Now you notice I don't have any handles or any way to make speed ramps. That's because this is a straight line. You can click on the curve line and there it is. It comes with two handles. Click either one, drag out to slow down the speed ramp, drag it closer to make it a faster speed ramp. I want a slow one. And just so I don't forget, I want to go to the end of my clip, select it here, make it round. And we've got our handles. We can drag them out. It only lets us drag out to where the end of the handle is at the previous speed uh, point. So we're going to click on the previous speed point, round it out. Nothing happened, right? So we can click on this end speed point. We can either bring in our handles, which will then allow us to click on this one and round it out. Or we can extend this a little bit and make this section longer. Control Z to undo. I want this real fast for a reason. Now that that one's rounded, we can zoom back out and go through each one and round them off. If you're editing to a beat, you might not want to round them off, but for this example, we do. Now that they're done, we can zoom out a little bit further and we're good to go. Now, if I make this window bigger, you'll notice that this looks a little bit choppy. And for this, I'm going to choose optical flow under retime and scaling and then enhanced better, which is a less resource intensive version of the interpolation that we talked about earlier. And it looks half decent. It's going to be choppy playback because my computer's doing a lot right now. But let's make our window go out of the way. And we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz to this really quick sped up shot. So we're going to start right here on the start of our clip that's sped up. We need to make the window bigger so we can see what we're doing. Come over to effects under toolbox effects adjustment clip. Drag it on. It snaps to the start. We'll trim the end back. And then we want to add a blur to this. So we'll come down to open effects filters. We're going to select zoom blur and it's really sped up. So we're going to come in here, change the zoom amount to 0.6, center exclusion to 0.15. Looks like we're really zooming, but wait, we've got a ramp here. So we're going to grab our white handles control here and we're going to add a little bit of fade in. So the zoom fades in and then the zoom fades out. And of course, it's not playing back smoothly because my computer's doing a lot of stuff. But if you wanted, you could right click on the clip and render cache color output like we did before. I don't want to wait for that. So we're just going to do what we did. And then you can hold alt, click on your adjustment clip and drag it to another clip here and change your handles a little bit and then click on it and go into effects. And then we're going to change this to 0.35 and 0.35. And now it's just a little bit of zoom with a nice blur around the edges. So now you know how to freeze frame and replay. You know how to rewind footage. You know how to slow stuff down, get the frame interpolation going. You know how to speed things up. That's a lot, right? Did I miss something? Is there a trick you know that I don't? Leave me a comment below. I'm really curious to hear about this because there's like 17 ways of doing everything in Resolve and I know three of them. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, boop the like button. Go watch this video next. If you really liked what I'm doing here, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, do me a, do me a solid. Help this video get to other people. Heck, share it on your social medias. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.